Hello and welcome. We are here with the video solutions for the SSC CGL mock test and uh, we are doing a topic based discussion. So for now we are on to the topic which is uh, called sentence improvement. So uh, a sentence is given and one part of the sentence is either in bold or underlined or in italics. So uh, and options would be given which would suit the sentence better in that case. So uh, Let's get to the test once again and we click on start and let's get started with sentence improvement. So uh, question number one over here, it asks us uh, honestly we did not play well in the final and uh, the options over here given uh, the honestly the word honestly is given in bold so that means uh, we need to replace this or uh, if there is no improvement we simply uh, click option 4 so the options given are to speak honestly to admit honestly to be honest or no improvement so over here the correct option is going to be option 3 which says uh, to be honest and I say to be honest we did not play well in the final so we are going to click on uh, to be honest and uh, we're going to go on to the next question. The next question, it asks us, uh, I would like to familiarize with the latest teaching methods. And familiarize with is the word given in bold. So the options for these are familiarize myself with, familiarize oneself with, or familiarize yourself with, or simply no improvement. Now in this case, the first option, it says familiarize myself with is the correct option because it means uh, when I say familiarize myself with it means I am getting to know something so uh, this is the correct option option A over here and we go and click next next okay. so uh, the next question question number three it asks us I shall either go home to India or my family will come to England and the section shall either go home is the section which is uh, given in bold we need to find which may be the better options better sounding options uh, besides this so the options given are uh, either I shall go home I shall go either home either I go home or no improvement and in this case we are going to go with uh, Option number one over here, either I shall go home because when I say uh, either I shall go home or my family goes to England, they are two separate uh, parts of the sentence and uh, go home to India also, I shall go home to India. So either is showing us it's uh, matching both the parts of the sentence. So uh, I shall go home, my family will come to England. Both of them it will agree if I put either at the start. So either I shall go home to India or my family will come to England is how we are going to make it better. So once again, we are going to go with option number one over here and click and say next. So uh, the next question, question number four, it asks us, he always exaggerates. So take what he says with a dash of salt. And uh, a dash of salt is the option which is underlined, not the option, the part of the sentence. And the options which are given are uh, a pinch of salt, also uh, lots of salt, a pint of salt, or no improvement. And in this case, uh, we are going to go with option number one which says a pinch of salt because uh, this is an example of an idiom in the English 
language. So when I say a pinch of salt, take something with a pinch of salt. It means not to take someone's words very seriously because either he is not serious or he speaks a lot of lies maybe. So in this case, we are going to go with uh, option A which says uh, pinch of salt and click and say next. So we come to the next question, question number five, and it asks us, learning is an ever-going process. So ever-going is the uh, part of the sentence which is uh, given in bold, and the options given for these are ongoing, ever-continuing, ever-constant, or no improvement. So the proper option over here is uh, the first option, learning is an ongoing process. So this is how it is going to make sense because we say learning never stops it is always going on we say ongoing in these cases so we go click and say next question question number six it says the watch is correct by the minute and by is the word which is given in bold and it's a preposition and the options given for this word are to for of or no improvement and uh, the correct option over here is option A that says to the watch is correct to the minute anytime we refer to time like that we say it is correct to the day to the minute to the hour so we go ahead and click option A and uh, click and say next the next question over here question number seven it says he is a weak child yet he appears to be lazy and yet is the part of the sentence which is uh, given in bold. So the options given for these are though, but, so, or no improvement. And in this case, we are going to go with the third option, option C, which says so. He is a weak child, so he appears to be lazy because uh, this is a result of something. You know, we talk of cause and effect. He is a weak child. So, he appears to be lazy. So is the right option over here. So, we click uh, option C and say next. So, uh, for the next question, question number 8, it says, uh, She thought that she would destroy it with her own hands rather than allowing it to be misused. And uh, rather than allowing is the part of the sentence which is given in bold and uh, let's see the options which are given for this one. It says rather than allow, then rather allowing, uh, ra than rather allow or no improvement. And in this case, we are going to go with option number one which says rather than allow because uh, if you read this sentence over here, uh, she would destroy it. Destroy is given in the simple uh, tense of the verb and so over here we cannot have al allowing over here because this is a continuous term of the usage with the ing so we should say rather than allow she would destroy it rather than allow it so we uh, go with uh, option one over here and uh, which says rather than allow she would uh, she thought that she would destroy it with her own hands rather than allow it to be misused so we go ahead and click uh, option A and say next. So for question number nine, it says uh, your long awaited reply came through yesterday. Came through is the part of the sentence which is given in bold and uh, we're going to go with uh, the options which says came in, came up, came out or no improvement. So in this case, the sentence is absolutely correct the way it is. There is no improvement. Your long-awaited reply came through yesterday, which means came through means uh, it arrived. It uh, arrived at a place through post or through any other means. So we are going to go and click no improvement and say next. So we come to the next question, question number 10, which says uh, there are so many claims on the reader's attention that it is no wonder he is left with a little power of discernment. And a little is the portion which is uh, given in bold and we need to pick uh, better options for this or if not, we say no improvement. So the options given are the little, less, little 
or no improvement. And in this case, we will say the third option, option C, which says little, because uh, we cannot say the little, and we cannot say less, because less is only used in the case of uh, countable nouns, and power of discernment is not a countable noun. We have to say little. We cannot say the little or a little, it is only little. So we go ahead and click option C and say next. Next question in sentence improvement, uh, question number 11, it says uh, they have had a real good time and uh, have had a real is the part which is uh, given in bold. So we need to find proper options for this if there are and the option says uh, have had a, have had really, have had a really or no improvement. Now, uh, when it comes to words like real and really, now really is an adverb and an adverb will modify a noun or an adjective. So we have a good here, which is an adjective. So we need a modifier adverb. So adverb will be really. Uh, words normally ending with ly are adverbs. So we need a really good time. So that is option number three. Option number three over here, have had a really good time. This is the correct option over here. So we are going to go ahead and click on option three and say have had a really good time and click and say next. So question number 12, it says electricity has modernized the march of modern events and modernize is the word which uh, needs to be modified or maybe not. And the options given uh, are rev revolutionized, uh, developed, created, or no improvement. So uh, we need to, this is a vocabulary based question. And uh, the word uh, modernized, modernized means uh, to make something modern, to update something. So uh, this doesn't really match. Uh, the things which are being said in the sentence. Rather, the correct word should have been uh, this word over here, revo revolutionized, because revo revolutionized means uh, uh, bringing a drastic change, a total change to something. So electricity has totally changed how we live our lives and it has changed whatever has happened in the modern day. So revo revolutionized is the correct word over here. And so we go ahead and we click on option uh, one, which says revolutionized, and we go and click next. So for question number 13, it says, uh, the sales boy told the consumer not to touch the products on display. And uh, consumer is the word which is uh, given in bold, and uh, the options given for consumer are uh, buyer, shopper, customer, customer or no improvement. So uh, in the case of a shop, people coming to buy things in a shop, they are called customers. Consumer is something who uh, takes in something, who buys something uh, not really, can be a person who has not visited the shop, maybe bought it from somewhere else. But in case of a shop where people are coming in and buying, they are not called consumers, rather they are called uh, customers. So uh, customer over here is uh, the right usage. We have to go with customer. So we click on option number three, option number three and say next. So question number 14, it says, please make it a point to send the letter at my address. And uh, the options given are, the word in bold is at, so it's a preposition and the options given are on, to, in or no improvement. Now the correct preposition to use uh, sending the letter it's actually to. We have to say to. Please make it a point to send the letter to my address is the right usage. So we have to go ahead and click option uh, B and then click and say next. Question number 15 it says Sunil and I helped to sell tickets and I is the word which is given in bold and uh, the options for I are we, us, me 
or no improvement. So uh, in this sentence, we say no improvement. Sunil and I help to sell the tickets. Sounds absolutely, absolutely fine. We say no improvement. Nothing is required over here to improve. So uh, we go ahead with this, the last option over here. Click option D and say next. So we come to the next question, question number 16. It says, I try to gain her but of no purpose. And off is the word which is given in bold and the options given are for, with, to or staying the same, no improvement. So over here, the correct option is going to be to no purpose because uh, I try to cane her, like uh, beat her with a stick, but uh, I'll say to no purpose. It didn't help anything um, without a purpose. So uh, we are going to go with option C and uh, click option C and say next. So we come to question number 17. It says the, sh the soldier mentioned that they had to pay a consideration of 50 pounds with accordance in the contract we signed. So with accordance in is the words which are given in both and uh, the options given are by accordance with, in accordance with, with accordance to or no improvement. And over here, the correct option is going to be uh, the third option over here, which says with accordance to, agreeing to the contract with accordance to, we say it. The soldier mentioned that they had to pay a consideration of 50 pounds with accordance to the contract we signed. So we'll go ahead and click option C and say next. So uh, the next question, question number 18 it says uh, Pankaj couldn't have seen us or he will have waved and uh, will have is the option given in both and let's look at the options over here which says may, would have, should have, or stays the same, no improvement. So uh, over here, the correct option is going to be the, the second option, uh, which says would have, we'll say would have. So the first part of the sentence, which says uh, Pankaj couldn't have seen us, it is a condition over here. And to agree with the condition, we say there is a possibility he would have waived, not will have waived, because it is only a possibility. It is not a surety. If it's a surety, we'll say will, but uh, if it's a possibility, we'll say would. So I'm going to go and uh, click on option B and say next. So uh, we come to the next question, question 19. Elephants live in groups in the jungle. Groups is the word which is given in bold and the options given are crowds, herds, hordes or no improvement. Now, uh, when a group of animals come together, they are called by different names. When groups of elephants are together, we call them herd. We call them herds of elephants. The second option over here, herds, which is a group of elephants. This is a correct word over here. So, uh, groups is the wrong uh, usage of the term. So we are going to click option B and say next. Question number 20. It says, taking the test, the teacher gave me a passing grade. So uh, taking the test is the part which is given in bold and the options given are after I took the test, after taking the test, as I took the test or no improvement. And in this case, the proper option would be option A, which says after I took the test because the teacher gave me a passing grade only after I took the test. Simple as that. Something which is already done. It's already finished. I will say after I took, uh, which is the past tense of the verb, take. So I'm going to go and click option A and say next. So, uh, for the next question, number 21, it says, can you be able to please tone down your excitement? The whole sentence is given in bold. So, uh, 
let's look at the options which are, says the first one says can you please be able to tone down your excitement option b says are you able to please tone down your excitement option c says can you please tone down your excitement or no improvement now in this case uh, the correct option is going to be option c which says uh, can you please tone down your excitement uh, proper way to go about it and uh, so we go ahead and click option c option c which says can you please tone down your excitement click and say next that is uh, question number 22 and uh, it says uneasy lies the head which wears the crown which is the word which is uh, given in both and this is a very famous quote from Shakespeare and uh, the options given are who, that, what or no improvement and in this case uh, we will go with the second option which says that wears the crown uneasy lies the head that wears the crown so if one is king he does not get good sleep because uh, there's a lot of uh, problems a lot of uh, things going on in the head so we say uneasy lies the head that wears the crown head we go with that so we click option 2 and uh, which is option B and we say next so for next question number 23 it says the cities are bursting on the seams with people bursting on the seams is uh, the part given in bold and the options given are bursting on seams bursting at seams bursting at the seams or no improvement so in this case we are going to say bursting at the seams because it means um, it is very overpopulated there's a lot of people and uh, this is exactly what it means by bursting at the seams being a lot of people and we go and click option C and say next for question number 24 it says let his failure be a lesson to you all to you all is the part which is given in bold and uh, the options given are to all of you to all you people to all you or no improvement and in this case the correct option is going to be the first option which says to all of you let his failure be a lesson to all of you correct usage so we have to go and click option one and say next question number 25 it states uh, a foolish person is someone who is easily taken in and tricked by others foolish is the word which is uh, given in bold and the options given are sober stupid gullible or no improvement so in this case the correct term this is the vocabulary question is not foolish foolish would be wrong to say who is easily taken in and tricked by others someone who easily believes whatever anyone says is called gullible gullible is the right word over here so we go ahead and click option 3 option C that is and say next for next question, question number 26 says, in case of a natural calamity, the shortage of essential things must be overcome in a short time. Things is the word which is given in bold and uh, let's look at the options which are given. Commodities, consignments, material or no improvement. So uh, over here, the correct word to be using would be uh, the first option which says uh, commodities. Commodities are things which are very essential in our daily lives. So things like food and water and so on are essential commodities which we need to uh, live on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, we go with option 1 which says commodities and uh, let's click on option A and say next. For question number 27. It says, she decided to go there, though her husband cautioned her on it. On is the word which is given in bold. It's a preposition and the options given are against, for, about or no improvement. So the correct option over here is going to be 
the first one which says uh, against cautioned against we always use the preposition against for something like caution when we use caution against it's not on so we can go ahead and click option a and click and say next question number 28 it says i am very much interested in your story i am very much interested is given in bold and uh, let's look at the options have been very interested am much more interested am very interesting or no improvement and in this case uh, it is absolutely correct the way it is we simply say no improvement no improvement i am very much interested in your story sounds absolutely absolutely correct and so we click on no improvement option d and click and say next So uh question number 29 it says he refused the charge brought against him and refused is the word which is given in bold and the options given are disagreed disowned denied or no improvement and uh, the correct word to be using over here is uh, in fact the third option which says uh, denied because uh, refused would be something you know you are given something you don't want that that is refusing denied is uh when you don't accept uh something which is said against you that is denied so a charge against you you deny that charge so we will go with option c and click on denied and click and say yes next question 30 it says working hard students always achieve good results and working hard is the part which is in bold and the options given are energetic industrious talented or no improvement and in this case the correct word to be using over here is uh, option b which says industrious industrious means someone who works very hard we don't say working hard students we say industrious students so we will go and click option b and click and say next so question number 31 it says a chance remark by her friend transported her life transported is a word which is uh, in bold and the options given are transgressed transposed transformed or no improvement and in this case uh the correct word to be used is uh, the third option which says transformed transformed means to change everything to change drastically if it's transported it will not be the correct usage we have to say transformed her life so we go and click on option c transformed and then click and say next So for question number 32 it says please switch off the fan switch off is the word which is given in both the words so uh, the options given are switch off switch in switch out or no improvement and uh, the correct option is uh, the first option which says uh, switch off switch off the fan because um, switch off means uh, you hold the button and you turn it off so it is o double f uh, which is right so i'm going to click on option a and say next uh, for next question we have the employees are hell bent at getting what is due to them so uh, hell bent at getting is other words which are given in both and uh, the options let's read the options hell bent on getting hell bent for getting hell bent about getting or no improvement so the correct option over here is uh, the first option which says hell bent on getting uh, they are really determined at uh, getting something so we say hell bent on getting not at getting so i'm going to click on option a and then say next number 34 question number 34 it 
since the new book written by Vikram Seth has become very populous. Become very populous. In fact, uh, the words which are given in bold are not the right ones. It's the last word populous which should have been in bold. It's a slight typing error. Sorry about that. And the options given are populist, popular, populist, or no improvement. And in this case, uh, we are going to go with uh, the second option, option B over here, which says popular. Popular, liked by many people. But if I say populous, populous means it is, uh, it has a big population filled with many people. It is not the right word. A uh, new book is liked by many people. We have to say popular. So I'm going to go and click on option B and then say next. For the next question, question number 35, it asks, where have you first met your husband? Have you first met? Are given in bold and options given are had you first met? Did you first met? Did you first meet? Or no improvement. And uh, the correct option is option C which says did you first meet? Now this sentence is in the past tense but we don't use uh, met over here. Uh, this word met even though this is past tense, when we ask a question, we never use the past form of the verb. We use the present form, meet. Did you first meet? And I say, I reply, I met him. So uh, we are going to go with option C. Did you first meet? Where did you first meet your husband? And click and say, next. For the next question, question 36 says, any able-bodied man is eligible for the job. Any able-bodied man is the part which is in bold and the options given are each able-bodied man is any able-bodied men have been any able-bodied men are or no improvement and uh, over here it is absolutely right the way it is any able-bodied man is eligible for the job is absolutely correct because uh, when I say any we have to use the singular forms man and then is over here. So I will go and say option 4, option D which says no improvement and I'm going to click next. So for question number 37 it reads uh, she found a wooden broken table in the room. Wooden broken table is given in both and the options given are wooden and broken table, broken wooden table broken and wooden table or no improvement and uh, over here we will go with option 2 which says broken wooden table this is the order of adjectives we use so we have to use uh, broken before wooden to make it sound correct so we click on option B she found a broken wooden table in the room and I'm going to say next so for the next question, number 38, it reads, uh, the truck rumbled to a halt and a man got out and ran. Rumbled to is given in bold and the options given are shrieked at, shrieked, screeched to, screamed at or no improvement. And uh, the correct option is uh, the second option which says screeched to, the truck screeched to a halt. Screech means making a loud, unpleasant noise. Like when a vehicle, like a truck, stops, suddenly put brakes and it stops. We say it screeched to a halt. So I'm going to click on option B and move on. Question number 39. It says, uh, the professor asked the intruder who was he, he and why was he in his lecture. So who was he and why was he is given in both. The options given are who he was and why he was, who he was and why was he, who he had been and why he had been or no improvement. So in this case, the correct option is going to be the first option which says who he was and why he was because this is an example of an indirect sentence and uh, in an indirect sentence we don't use 
uh, question form like who was he instead we say who he was we use the assertive form so I'll go and click on option A the professor asked the intruder who he was and why he was and click on option A and say next so coming to question number 40 says my uncle goes to office on bicycle or by foot by on bicycle and or by foot are given in bold and the options given are by bicycle or by foot by bicycle or on foot on bicycle or on foot or no improvement and over here it is going to be the second option which says by bicycle or on foot it is a problem of using the correct preposition when you travel you say by bicycle but I travel on foot we don't say by foot so I'm going to click option B and say next to the next question number 41 and uh, it says uh, you have come here with the intention in insulting me in insulting me is given in bold and uh, the options given for this are uh, for insulting me of insulting me on insulting me or no improvement and uh, the correct option is going to be you have come here with the intention of insulting me the second one this is the correct usage the preposition of should be used before insulting and so we go and click option B you have come here with the intention of insulting me click and say next we do it says uh, I did not give at the examination as my circumstances are bad and give is the word given in bold and the options given are right sit appear or no improvement and over here the correct option is going to be uh, the third option which says appear I did not appear at the examination as my circumstances are bad so uh, for a thing like examination or if you have any court dates or anything you say I will appear for that I did not appear for that this is the correct usage so we click on option C appear and uh, we'll say next so coming to question number 43 it says though he worked hard but he failed but is given in bold and the options given are and yet then or no improvement the correct option over here is uh, the second option it says yet because though he worked hard yet he failed this is how we say it with though we have to use yet not but it will change the meaning if we put this word but over here so we will uh, once again click on option B yet though he worked hard yet we, he failed and we will click and say next we come to number 44 it says no sooner did the teacher come into the class when we stood up when is given in both and the options are since then than or no improvement and in this case the correct option is going to be third option which says uh, that dhan no sooner did the teacher come into the class than we stood up so we will go and click on option c and say say the next so uh, now coming to question number 45 it reads uh, he was so much a coward to help his friend so much a coward is given in bold the options given are so much cowardly too much of a coward as coward or no improvement so uh, the correct option is going to be second option which says uh, too much of a coward he was too much of a coward to help his friend which is how the sentence is going to make sense and uh, we go and click option B he was too much of a coward to help his friend and then I'm going to say next so we come to question number 46 it says I bought four dozen of mangoes 
dozen of mangoes is given in bold. The options given are dozens of mango, dozens of mangoes, dozen mangoes, or no improvement. So over here, the right option is going to be the third option, which says uh, dozen mangoes. I bought four dozen mangoes because mangoes is already making it plural. We don't have to say dozens over here. Dozens would be wrong. So I will go with option C. I bought four dozen mangoes. And then I'm going to say next. Coming to number 47, it says, I have still to meet a person who is perfectly satisfied with his job. Have still to meet is given in bold and the options given are would meet, am yet to meet, might still meet or no improvement. And uh, the correct option over here is going to be uh, the second option which says am yet to meet. I am yet to meet a person who is perfectly satisfied with his job. So uh, the person has not met someone like that but uh, it is possible that in the future he might meet someone. So we will go with option B. It says, I am yet to meet a person who is perfectly satisfied with his job. Click and say next. Number 48. And it asks us, Would you find one absent? Please don't forget to leave a message behind. Uh, would you find is given in both, and the options given are as you find, should you find, unless you find, or no improvement. And uh, correct option over here is going to be option B, which says, should you find uh, one absent, please don't forget to leave a mass message behind. So uh, this is a chance that someone may be absent. So should is the right usage. Should you find one absent, please don't uh, forget to leave a message behind. We click option B and we go and click next. So for question number 49 it asks us Kim is too impatient with tolerating any delay with tolerating is given in bold and uh, the options given are at tolerating for tolerating do tolerate or no improvement so uh, the options the correct option over here is going to be uh, the third option which says uh, to tolerate and uh, let's scroll down to the options so I'm going to go with to tolerate over here. Kim is too impatient to tolerate any delay. Read the right, the right usage. So I will click on option 3, option C that is, and say next. Which brings us to question number 50. It says, I purposely did that with a view to offend her. And over here, the correct uh, option Let's look at the options first before choosing the correct one. It says, with a view of offending her, with a view that I offend her, with a view to offending her or no improvement. So the correct option over here is going to be the third option. I'm sorry, it's going to be the first option with a view of offending her. I purposely did that with a view of offending her is the right usage of the uh, preposition we have off along with offending. So we click option one, option A that is, and we say next. Going to our next question, number 51, it reads, uh, anyone wishing to enroll in the program should send in their applications before the end of this month. So in their applications is given in bold and uh, the options given are send in her application, send her application in, send in their applications or no improvement. So this is an error of uh, the pronoun. And uh, this word over here, there, it means uh, we say this in relation to direction or position. It is over there, we say. However, over here, uh, we have to use uh, the pronoun T-H-E-R-R, -R, which is a possessive pronoun. It is their possession, their application. So. Option C is the right option over here. Uh, we have to say anyone wishing to enroll in the program should send in their applications before the end of this month. So we will go with option C 
and uh, say next question 52 it re reads uh, do you mind me leaving this payment until next year and me is the word uh, which is in bold so it's a pronoun of course and the options given are I my mine or no improvement so uh, the correct usage is going to be my option 2 do you mind my leaving this payment until next year because me is uh, used uh, more in the back end of the sentence as an object and I would be used as a subject is main subject in the front of the sentence so the correct application is going to be my leaving this payment we are going to click on option B and say next to number 53 question 53 it reads as you grow older you will find that these all difficulties may be overcome by patience so these all difficulties may be overcome by patience is given in bold the options given are these all difficulties may overcome with patience all these difficulties may overcome through patience C says all these difficulties may be overcome with patience or no improvement and over here this is an error in the structure of words in the wor way the words are flowing one from the other and the correct option is going to be option C all these difficulties may be overcome with patience so as you grow older you will find that all these difficulties may be overcome with patience is how the correct uh, formation of the sentence would be so we will go and click on option C and say next question number 54 it reads Sita did it so far as Blake when she heard she had won the scholarship to Cambridge so far as is given in bold and uh, the options given are so much as as far as as good as or no improvement and uh, the correct option over here is going to be the first option which says uh, so much as Sita didn't so much as blink when she heard she had won the scholarship to Cambridge so we click option 1 option A that is and say next question number 55 it reads when the architect won a prize in a playwriting competition his friends admired his universality and universality is uh, the word which is given in bold and uh, the options given are durability, versatility, respectability or no improvement. So in this case, the correct option, it's a question of using the correct word, it's a vocabulary question, is going to be versatility because he is an architect yet he is still writing plays. He is good at many things. He is versatile. He said versatility. So we click on option B and uh, we go next to question number 56 it reads this book is adopted to the needs of beginners adopted is the word which is uh, given in bold and the options given are adapted to adapted for adopted for or no improvement now uh, the correct option over here is going to be first option which says adapted to because when I say adopted adopted would mean uh, taking up something embracing something but over here uh, this is adapted adapted means uh, it is designed for something it is the purpose of this thing is uh, to cater to the needs of beginners so we will go with option A and we will click next question number 57 it says there are a good many tigers in this forest a good many tigers is uh, given in bold and the options that are given are some good many tigers the good many tigers and good many tigers or no improvement and this is simply perfect the way it is sounds absolutely correct we will go with the fourth option no improvement and let's click option D then I say next question number 58 it says London is one of the oldest towns of 
England and off is given in bold, it's a preposition and the options given are in, at, besides or no improvement and the correct option is going to be the first option which says uh, in because anytime we are referring to a country, place in a country we say in England, in India. So in is the right preposition over here so we click on option A and we say next to number 59 it reads you will be late if you do not leave now and uh, do not leave now is given in bold the options given are will not leave now did not leave now left now or no improvement and in fact the correct option is going to be uh, last option no improvement it sounds absolutely perfect the way it is you will be late if you do not leave now no correction required so we click option B it says no improvement and we click on next we come to uh, question number 60 it says people ask me why I decide to start a new magazine and I decide is given in bold decide is given in bold and the options given are will decide am deciding have decided or no improvement and the correct option is going to be have decided people ask me why I have decided this is an example of a present perfect tense uh, something in the past which is related to the present. Why is it related? Because people are asking him now for something that he did in the past. So I have to say have decided. And so I'm going to click on option C. And I'm going to say next. Which brings us to the close. So I'm ready to submit my answers. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much.